Hey friends, it's Miss Elena. I am here today to read you guys another story. And today I'm going to read you this book. It's called The Giant of Jum. And it is written by Ellie Willard and Benji Davies. The giant of Jem was a grumpy old grouch who was constantly grizzling and grumbling. And when he was hungry, he'd slobber and slouch and say, Oh, how my tummy is rumbling. Fee, he said, and fie, he said, and fo, he said, and fum. How I pine, how I wish for a child on a dish. Little children are yummy, yum, yum. And he thought of a tale that his brother had told of a beanstalk and a boy known as Jack. He'd be nice, thought the giant, if eaten quite cold with a side dish of beans for a snack. He strode through the land with such thunder stops that the tree started shaking and swaying, through fields and forests, through rivers and swamps, into gardens where children were playing. Fum, he said, and fo, he said, and fi, he said, and fee. Children, I feel, make a fabulous meal. I will gobble you up with my tea. But the children said, What a magnificent man! You're so marvelously magic and tall, they said. Will you help us? We're sure that you can. Oh, please, will you fetch us our ball? The giant said, Well, I suppose it won't hurt. But soon have no fear, I'll be back. You'd be scrumptious if eaten with cream for dessert. Just as soon as I've gobbled that jack. Fo, he said, and fum, he said, and fee, he said, and fi. Children taste nice mixed with pasta or rice, and they're perfectly when popped in a pie. But then the children ran up and they yelled, Look at that, up there in the leaves, can you see? Oh, please, will you help us and rescue our cat? It's stuck up in that sycamore tree. The giant said, Well, I suppose it won't hurt, but soon have no fear. I'll be back. You'd be scrumptious if eaten with cream for dessert, just as soon as I've gobbled that jack. Fi, he said, and fee, he said, and fum, he said, and fo. My very best treat is some children to eat. I will start at the littlest toe. But the smallest boy whispered, my legs are so sore. And he slumped to the ground and he cried, I can't make it home. I can't walk anymore. Oh, please, could you give me a ride? The giant said, well, I suppose I don't mind. And he lifted the boy to his back. The boy said, I love you. You're wonderfully kind. And what is your name? I'm called Jack. Fee, he said, and fi, he said, and little Jack snack, is that right? I'll pulp you and stew you, I'll gulp you and chew you, and gobble you up in one bite. But the children said, oh no you wouldn't. We think you've made a mistake. You're such a kind giant, you couldn't. Nice giants always eat. Cake, 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 cake. The giant was starving, his tummy was rumbling, but then he said, wait, are you sure? I'm grizzly and grumpy and grouchy and grumbly. I've not been called kindly before. You rescued a cat from a tree, shouted Jack, and you fetched us our ball. You're so nice. You gave me a ride through the streets on your back, so we've made this for you. Have a slice. Ho, he said, and hum, he said, and ha, and he said, and he. Chocolate's much better than children, and he ate it up with all his tea. The end. So after reading The Giant of Jum, we find out this giant is actually not very mean at all. He helps the children when they need help and the, he thinks that he needs to eat children and the kids are like, no, you need to eat cake. But I don't think that's a good idea. I think that we should put together a healthy meal for our giant so that way he's not so mean and grumpy so that way that he can eat healthy too so i want you guys to put together a healthy meal for our giant so that way he can eat healthy <laughs>